What is up and welcome back to Total Body Sweat Sesh. Today is all about the upper body and we're having upper build. So I'm gonna tell you more about today's workout during the warm up. so let's go ahead and get started with that. So our first warm up move is gonna be a little weird. It's called elbow circles. So go ahead, place your hands on your shoulders. We're gonna be doing circles right here with our elbows leading forward first. I know it feels a little bit weird probably, but don't worry, it's all there to help out the shoulders get ready for today's upper build. Now, to go ahead and give you some more insight into what you can expect for today's work, I'll go ahead and switch directions for me. We have three rounds. Now, each round has three moves in it. We're gonna repeat each move three times. But the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna do move one, three times each, move on to the second move, third move, et cetera. You get it, all right? So go ahead, come on down. We're gonna do slow mountain climbers, okay? So we're not running these out. It's nice and easy, in, 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 okay? Come on down. We go in three, two, one. Slow, in, in. Now here's the thing. Make sure your hands are underneath your shoulders. Your gaze is three to five inches in front of your hands. Make sure that your glutes are tight, your hips are down, your core is contracted. If you need to modify, just go down to your knees and hold a modified plank, okay? You're still gonna get the warm up that I want in those shoulders, all right? We're just getting a little bit more with our core here too, because remember, your core is huge when it comes to upper body work, all right? Keep going, keep going. Three, two, one, go ahead and stand up for me. Wrist circle. So go in and out, in and out. Now our wrists are gonna be getting a lot of work today, okay? So I want you to listen to your wrists. If you feel like they're giving you too many issues, go ahead and either do a fist formation to protect and guard them, or go down to any low position. So a low forearm plank or anything where you can be arms, all right? I will always help guide you and give you some information on that. Three, two, one. We're going to those external rotations. So arms at 90, elbows in tight. Come on out for me. There we go. Right there, yep. Now the key thing here, you wanna make sure that your abs are in tight, okay? Don't let your back arch, all right? Keep everything in tight. Your elbows are glued to your sides, all right? Slight bend in those knees and you're going out. Don't let your elbows move and don't let them flare out, okay? Keep them in tight. Keep going for me. So like I said, three rounds, three moves each round. We're gonna go into a lat pull down. So bring them up right here. There you go. Now remember, you wanna make sure that you're squeezing your shoulder blades together as you do this move, all right? Have some tension with it. Make sure your ribs are down and not arching back, okay? Keep them down. Slight bend in those knees. Keep going, I'm gonna keep talking. Three moves, three rounds with the three moves. We repeat the moves three times each, one at a time, then we move on to the next one. You have 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off, okay? Then we move on down. Now you'll have a longer break between each round itself. You'll have 60 seconds, okay? So one minute, and then you're done. All right, in three, two, one. Awesome job. We have a 90 second break. So move around for me, okay? Move around for me. Now, what we're gonna be doing, round one, first move is a plank. Push back and then a leg lift, okay? So let me break that down for you. You're really doing the leg lift in the plank position, but every time you start the move, you're just starting in a normal plank and you'll do the push back, come back to the plank, and then do a leg lift, okay? You're gonna switch legs every single time, all right? So what it looks like, you're in that high plank, right? You're coming back to a push back, back up, leg lift. Now notice that as I lift my leg, I'm not kicking it back, right? I'm just going up a little bit, enough to engage my glutes. I'm not looking to engage my low back, okay? I want my core to be stabilizing me with my low back, but my low back not to be working to pull my leg up, okay? So, plank is what you start in. You'll go back to that push, come up, leg lift. Go back to the push back, come back up, other side, okay? Keep switching legs. 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. 
Then we go to those Superman pulls. You're laying on your stomach. We come up into that Superman and we pull back, all right? Then we have that pike press. All right, are you ready? Come on down for me right here. Now, you're gonna want to be able to have your legs a little bit wider, okay? Now, it doesn't matter if you can't get all the way back to that child's pose. Some people can, some people can't. I don't want your knees touching the ground though, okay? Whatever you can do, don't let your knees touch the ground, all right? I want you to hover above the ground in that pushback, okay? Modification, everything's from your knees, all right? Almost there, almost there. And three, two, one, relax. All right, you have 15 seconds. All right, you're doing so good. We're almost there, almost there. Remember, you're switching legs every time. Here we go, three, two, one. Go to that push back. Leg lift, push back, leg lift. Modification, you're going from your knees. You'll pop up briefly for the leg lift, come back down, all right? Pop up briefly, leg lift down. Or if the leg lift's too much for you in the modified, don't do it, just pop up to the plank real quick and pop back down, all right? Keep going for me, you're almost there. You're almost there. There we go. And relax. You have that one more time. Make sure the whole time you're engaging your core, okay? Keep everything tight. We're almost there, you got five seconds, okay? Get ready, get ready, get ready. Here we go. Push back, leg lift, push back, leg lift, keep going. Remember, you're not kicking to where your low back is arching, all right? Now your low back is gonna arch just a little bit, but you don't want it to be the main focus, okay? This is something that a lot of people do when they're doing you know, leg lifts or kickbacks or stuff like that. They'll tend to arch their back, and that's not what we want because those are not the muscle groups that we are targeting, all right? Keep going, you're almost there. Two, one, good job. We're moving on to the Superman pulls. So remember, you're gonna lift up and pull back. Heels together, glutes tight, all right? Modification, glutes are tight, heels and feet are down, all right? Three, two, one, up, 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 up. Pull, stay right here. Forward, there we go. Right here, right here. Now again, modification. You're keeping your glutes tight, but you're dropping your legs. Can you get your chest up just a little bit higher? Challenge yourself, even if it's only for a couple seconds. You got it. Stay right here. Squeeze those lats. Get those shoulder blades to move. Three, two, one, relax. All right, you got that two more times. We go in five, ready? Three, two, one, up, 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 pull. There we go, there we go. Keep going, keep going. Engage your glutes, engage them, squeeze them, squeeze them, squeeze them. You should feel them as you're doing this move too, okay? You're doing so good. Now make sure that your gaze is straight down, okay? If you have to look at me, I want you to briefly take a break. Because here's the thing, I don't want you engaging other muscles that I don't want to be worked right now. Two, one, take a break. All right, guys, we have one more round of that. Are you ready? Get ready, come on down. We go in three, two, one, lift, high, 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 and pull. Can you go a little higher for me? Can you raise up just a little bit higher? Challenge yourself. Make sure that this move is slow and controlled. There we go. There we go. Pinch those shoulder blades together. Keep going. Breathe for me. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze them. Keep going. You're doing so good. You're almost there. You're almost there. In three, two, one. Relax. All right, pike press. Real quick, remember you're coming down, couple of feet in front of your feet right here. Make sure you're trying to get your elbows to still go back, all right? Now, if you're modifying, you're gonna bend your knees a little bit. Okay, ready? Two, one. I'm gonna show full out. 
then I will show modification, all right? Right here. If you wanna make it harder, you're gonna go at a different angle, all right? Right there, modification. Bring your hands in, make those knees bend. Right here. But remember, your elbows are pointed back the whole time, okay? The elbows are pointed back. You can always do fist for those wrists, all right? Three, two, one, rest. We have that two more times, okay? Again, advance, walk it out a little bit, okay? So you're kind of in like a bridge looking position more so than a pike, okay? Ready, come back up. Get set, two, one, go. There we go. Make sure your elbows are going back and not to the side, okay? They'll go to the side slightly, all right? But you don't want them going to the side completely, similar to a push-up, okay? There we go, gaze is at those feet, rock on those toes for me. There we go, bring your abs in, still use your abs, okay? You're almost there, almost there in two, one. Good job, once more. And then this round is done. Look how fast that went. All right, get ready for me, okay? You're almost there. And five, get set up. Three, two, one. Here we go. Nice job. Keep fighting for me. Remember how to modify. If you need to modify, you bring those knees in. All right? Now, another way to advance is kind of doing like a diamond push-up in this pike position, okay? But that does place more stress on the elbows. So if you're already feeling stress on the elbows, don't go to that diamond, okay? Almost there, almost there. There we go. Awesome job. We are done with that round. You have a 60 second break now, okay? And then we will hop back in and we'll go for round two. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what round two looks like. Keep moving for me. Keep grabbing some water. Do whatever you need to do, okay? Now our first move is a tricep push-up. However, we're doing it from a lateral point of view, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come on down. Now, you're gonna have whichever arm is on the bottom, you're gonna bring it and wrap it around your ribs, okay? Just right under your chest line. You're gonna put the other hand as close as you can to that shoulder and that arm, okay? And all you're gonna do is push yourself up and push yourself back down, okay? Ready? Three, two, one. Go ahead and push up. There we go. Back down. Now, this is a different position. It is different than what we're used to. So, if this is way too much, go back to the normal tricep push-up, okay? That's okay to do, all right? Almost there. Two, one, relax. Shake it out, you have two more times, all right? Get set up. Here we go. In three, two, one, push. Now, I want you to make sure that your head stays in a neutral position, meaning I don't want you doing this. I don't want you doing this. I want you keeping it neutral for me, okay? There we go. You should feel it right back here in that tricep, all right? Now, if it's again, if it's starting to hurt your elbow, go to a normal tricep push-up. If it's hurting your fist, uh, your wrist, go to the fist. Okay, you won't be able to extend, go ahead and rest as much with the fist, but go as far as you can, okay? Once more on this side, then we flip and we'll do the other one, okay? Ready? We go in three, two, one. Push, 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 push. Come on down, there we go. Slow, 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 slow. Control that movement, all right? Control it down, control it down. There we go. Sometimes when we're doing movements like that, we want to just collapse, you know, especially the triceps are such a small muscle group, right? Such a small muscle group that when we're starting to come down, gravity's working against them, right? And it just wants to pull. But if you go against gravity and you fight it, go ahead and rest for me. Guess what? You are gonna see so much more strength and improvement come out of the move. Go ahead and switch sides. 
All right. Wrap. Place. In two. One. Push, 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 push. Come on down. There we go. So good. Keep going. Slow up. Slow down. Let that tricep work. There we go. Slow. As you're coming down, this is called an eccentric contraction, okay? It's when the muscle is lengthening under time and tension. Go ahead and relax. And it's actually when we see most of the gains and, and most of the muscle strength start to really build is when we do focus in on that eccentric contraction, okay? Go ahead and wrap, place. We've got two more times. Here we go, push. Back down. There we go, slow, slow, slow. Push. You're doing good. I know it's probably burning, right? Come back down. Again, if you need to, go to a normal tricep. Go to a modified tricep push-up. Do what you need to do. Go ahead and relax. If this is too much, okay? It's okay to do that, all right? I give you permission. Do what you need to do, all right? We go in five, last time, right here. Last time. Get ready. Get ready. Push up. Guys, guess what? You only have one more move after this and then round two is done. Round two is done after that. Keep going. There we go. You feel it? Come back down. There we go. Keep going. Let that burn happen. That's your muscle getting stronger. Relax. Shake it out for me. We have a Superman, all right? So just normal Superman, no pull. Up, down, up, down, all right? Go ahead, lay down for me. Three, two, one, heels together. Up, down. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze those glutes. Now your hands, I leave mine right here, kind of in front of my head, but you can have them straight out if you want. That's okay. Just make sure your glutes are tight. Even if you're modifying, if you're modifying, remember, your feet stay down, but you're still engaging your glutes, okay? So you can be right here, and that's okay, all right? In two, one, relax. Awesome job. Two more times, okay? In 10. You got this, you're doing so good. See, this is flying by. You got this. In three, two, one, up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. So good. You're doing so good. Keep it right here with me. Stay right here. And you lift your chest up any higher. There we go, relax. Once more than you guys are done with round two. How awesome does that feel? Does it feel like it's flying by? I hope it does. All right, ready? Two, one, there we go. Engage your glutes. Engage them. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. If you uh, have somebody at home with you and you feel comfortable with it, have them poke you, poke you in the glutes. <laughs> um, as a gentle reminder that you need to engage them, all right? Keep going for me. Relax, guys. Round two is done. You have one final round, all right? Move around for me, okay? You have a break here. Next move is a Superman speed, all right? So we're going back down to that Superman position. However, we're gonna raise up, stay raised up, and we're gonna act like we have a speed bag in front of us, okay? So let me show you. 
straight on. All right, you're gonna lift up right here. All right, don't let your elbows drop. Don't let them do this. Keep them up here. Try and keep your chest up. Now again, if you need to modify, drop your heels, all right? We go in three, two, one. Come on up, right here. Stay up for me, stay up for me. Can you get your hands any higher above your head? Can you get them any higher? Keep going, keep going, fight. There we go. Stay here, stay here. You're almost there, almost there. Keep fighting for me. In three, two, one. There you go. All right, you just have that two more times. Just two more times, okay? All right, we go in three, two, one, lift. Punch that back. There we go, speed back. Can you go faster? Can your arms go faster? Can you squeeze your glutes the whole time? Modification, drop your heels. If your low back starts to bug you, that's okay to come out for a couple of seconds, all right? That's okay. Try not going as high next time, all right? But you will feel it in your low back, okay? You'll also feel it in your shoulders, in your arms, in your upper back, especially with this one, all right? Go ahead and rest. You're doing good. You're doing so good. You're almost there. We have one more time. Once more, that's it. And then we're, we get to move on. Two, one, here we go. I almost said we're done, but we're not. I mean, we, we technically are almost done. You only have two more moves after this one. So I guess I wouldn't have been wrong, right? <laughs> Keep going. Stay here, stay here. Keep fighting for me. Even if you wanna quit, tell yourself right now, I'm gonna stay up. Even if you just have to hold it up. If that's how you get through it, that's how you get through it. Stay right here, stay right here. Almost there, two, one. Awesome job. Next move is a push-up to a shoulder tap, okay? So how this is gonna work, you're doing a normal push-up, hands just slightly out from your shoulders, arrow back, remember, gaze is three to five inches in front, core is engaged, glutes are engaged. You're gonna do a push-up, tap, tap, push-up, tap, tap, okay? What it looks like, full out, right here. Push up, up, tap, tap, back down. Push up, up, tap, tap. Ready? In three, two, one, let's go. Now, if you're modifying, you're dropping to your knees. And remember, during all this, form is key. Form is key. So make sure you're not doing, you know, a weird head bob motion or a turtle. Don't do the turtle. Make sure that your elbows aren't going out, but they're going back in that arrow position, okay? Your gaze is three to five inches in front of your, your hands, okay? In three, two, one, break. You only have that two more times, okay? You got this, you're doing so good. You are doing so good, okay? If you need to, go from your knees. Remember, right here if you need to. If this is still too much, in three, two, one. Go ahead and go for me. I want to finish this break real quick. If this is still too much on your wrists, just go to a low forearm plank and hold, all right? Just go to a low forearm plank and hold, okay? Keep going for me. You're almost done with this one, okay? Widen that stance if you need some stability. There you go. Keep fighting. Hips don't swing during those taps. Two, one, relax. Stretch it out. You have one final time of that, okay? You're doing good. Less than 10, all right? So go ahead and get ready. Then you're done with these, okay? In three, two, one. Here we go. Last time doing these push-ups and shoulder taps, all right? Give me the best you can, even if that's you modifying. Even if that's you doing a few and taking a break, doing a few and taking a break. Whatever your best is, not my best, not your friends, all right? Your best. Just don't quit on yourself, okay? You've got this. You can do anything. 
take a break. Awesome job, guys. We have body saws coming up, okay? Low forearm plank. That's the base. Okay, forward, back, right here. Hips don't go up though, all right? Core is engaged, ready? Come on down. Three, two, one. Here we go. Back and forth, back and forth. Squeeze your core for me. Don't let it go. Don't let it go. Don't let it go. Hips stay neutral. Don't let them dip down. All right, don't let them dip down. If you need to, you're performing from your knees, okay? That's it. Perform from your knees. It's okay. You're almost there. Three, two, one. Guys, two more times of that, then you're done. Okay? You got this. You got this. Keep fighting for me. You're strong. All right? You were stronger than any move I could throw at you. Okay? Two, one. Here we go. And I want you to tell yourself that. I want you to believe that. There is not a move in this world anybody could throw at you that you can't do. And I want to preface this by saying, at your own pace, at your own ability, maybe you have to modify the move, but guess what? You can still do it. Maybe you have to slow it down, but you can still do it. You're strong enough. Don't doubt yourself. Two, one, take a break. Don't ever doubt yourself, okay? You got this. Last time, we go in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. There we go. If you need to, take it a little bit slower to get more work. Modification. You are going to lift your hips slightly, okay? You're not going all the way up, just slightly, while keeping that core engaged the entire time, okay? Keep that core engaged. As you come down, think of your abs pulling you down if you're modifying, okay? In three, two, one. Awesome, awesome job. You did it. You did it. Way to finish this workout, even if you had to take breaks, even if you had to modify. Maybe you thought it was easy. That's okay, because then now you know, all right, I know that I can advance next time with these moves, all right? So go ahead, stand up for me. We're gonna cool down, all right? Big inhale, up. Fill up those lungs for me, and exhale, out. One more time. There we go. Now this time come all the way down. There we go. You did so good. My triceps are still feeling it from those lateral push, push-ups. Go ahead and walk your feet in for me. Stay right here. I'm gonna count you up. Make sure to roll through your spine as I do, okay? Come up for five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and roll those shoulders back. I feel like every time I have to adjust my shirt as we do that. <laughs> so I'm sorry if you notice me doing that a lot. Go forward or backwards, whichever direction you weren't going before. There we go. Nice and easy. Now I want you to think about one thing that maybe, go ahead and bring an arm over, you were looking at as I showed you the move, right? Maybe you were thinking, no, <laughs> no, I can't do that, I won't do that, my body won't let me do that, whatever it may be. And I want you to ask yourself, did I do it? Go ahead and switch. Because if the answer is yes, count that as a victory. Because that is a victory. Being here with me right now at the end is a victory because you could have stopped earlier, right? Go ahead, pull back. Remember form here. None of this. Bring your rib cage down. Tuck your hips under, slight bend in your knees. Your gaze is straight forward, okay? Now only go down as far as you can while keeping this form, okay? 
three, two, one, switch for me. So good, so good. Keep your gaze up, keep your gaze up. You did so good for me. I'm still walking around just to let my muscles continue to cool down. You can walk around too if you want. We didn't really do much cardio or leg. Go ahead and relax. Um, so I'm not too worried about it, all right? We're gonna do two deep breaths, all right? Big inhale up for me. Exhale, one more, all right? But keep going until I tell you to exhale. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Fill up those lungs, keep going, keep going. Big exhale out. Awesome job, you are all done. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for giving me your all. Thank you for crushing it. And I cannot wait to see you in our next workout together. Have a great day.